Okay, I think you're gonna like this next video. I am going to show some linkages between um, FMA, that's Filipino martial arts, with American Kempo. So I'm gonna show a, a very popular uh, drill called the Hubud. I'm gonna show how to do that drill and work on your sensitivity. And then uh, if I remember them all, I just made up some random techniques from American Kempo that I can show will flow really nice into the Hubud. Uh, but there's a few very different variations of the hoop button. The easiest way uh, I'm going to do for this video is we both have our right foot forward. He does a punch, like a jab. I'm going to parry. I prefer not to go at the wrist because, you know, in Kepler we always say never pass up a body joint without checking. So I'm going to go wrist, elbow. And as you can see, it's going to slide. So as he does the punch, I'm going to go one, two, and then check and punch. And I'm going to go super slow. I go left, right, left, right. This is the pattern. Left in, right brush, left push. The more tense I am, the worse it is. So it's not this. I'm very soft. This is the pattern. And notice that um, we're both working our jab. Right now we're doing a vertical jab. I could easily switch that to a horizontal punch. Or back to the vertical, he could do either one, left in, right brush, push. You can also switch my stance and go, you just stay there. So now I'm working more of my cross punch, whether it's a horizontal fist, a little body shifting, he can also switch. Nice spot. And we're working the cross punch. So we have different ways we can, we can work this. I'm gonna show, um, to start, uh, how to um, incorporated technique from American Kempo if we're both right to right. Okay, so if we slow this down again, here's the drill, here's the hoo Wait a minute, I know, meal of compulsion. <clears throat> I shoot my fingers in his eyes, grab hold, <clears throat> kick up, and finish with the sandwich. Okay, so if I do that from this angle, essentially, we were just doing the standard hoo but instead of me going one, two, three, four, I went one, two, shoot the flick, get behind them, kick the back of the knee, and finish with the sandwich. Okay, so we'll do it a little faster. So the idea is this, and I'll do it right now. Grab a hold, and finish with that sandwich. Okay? Um, we can also switch it up where, say, uh, I have my left foot forward, and Scott has his right foot forward. Okay, so I'm like this, and we're doing this pattern. This is the standard hubud. And I'll go slow, slow. I'm gonna throw an attacking mace. So I now check, pack them up, kick, and finish with that uppercut. Okay, so watch what happened there. He had his right foot forward, standard hubud. I went, wait, check that. Drive that. And finish with the uppercut. Okay, and work off of that, off of that. Or maybe uh, you have the same foot forward. We're doing this drill, just standard hoopa. Only thing is, I have my left foot forward, he has his right foot forward. But wait a minute. There's Darty Mace. You see what happened there? I'll slow that down. So he had his right foot forward. I was just doing standard hoop bud. And I went, okay. <laughs> Crack, smash, check, <laughs> trim, There's the heel palm. So we threw Darting Mason. We go back to standard hoop bud again. Let's go right to right this time. We'll change it up. So we're doing this. Very soft. Left in, right brush, push. Maybe I'll do horizontal. Maybe I'll do vertical. If I go back to vertical, back to horizontal. Now, if you just do one side, you get really good at it. But your arm's gonna feel like it's gonna wanna fall off. So to transition, this is tricky. I'm gonna do this angle. You'll see it better. So we're right to right. We're doing this super slow. Now watch what I do now. Right in, left. But I punched with the same hand, and he was now on this side. Check that out again. That was perfect, Scott. 
left in. So I'm going left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. But now I go right, left. Boom, and he's now working on this side. So now we're working this. But what I can do in transition, I think this will be a better angle. This is kind of cool. So we're both right to right. I'm going to throw in a tempo technique here. So we're doing this. I went right, left, hammer the groin, claw back, couple hammer, and I got a furling crane out of that. Okay, watch that again. So we were right to right. Go super slow so they can see. Like, okay, we have right, left, wait, hammer, claw back, knuckle straight. There we are on that one. Watch it on this angle. So we were right to right. Doing all this, everything was good. I went right, hammer, claw back, knuckle straight, and rip. Boom. There's an unfurling crane. Now, one more I'll throw in, guys. Let's say we're right to right, just doing standard, just doing standard. Let's say he switches to left, foot forward, go left foot, yeah, keep going. All good. Yep, yep. I do this transition. Uh huh. We're on this. And I go, wait. I got circling destruction. Watch what was happening. He had his left foot forward, and I had my right foot forward. We're just doing this side of the hula. Right, left, right, left. I went, wait, one, two, <laughs> And what we did is we took the standard who butt and we threw in some keppo techniques at random. And why that's so good for your training, guys, well, I'll just pick on the last technique. Stop, put your right foot forward. Rather than being this, and you do your step for your punt, left punch, and I go, <clears throat> which is very choreographed, do that again. I should look good if I'm doing a choreograph. But if we can do that where he has his left foot forward, and I'm just working this. Wait. We're learning how to do it in a more way of working our spontaneity. Try it guys, that's the Who Bud with a little Kempo flavor.